let us check out some methods in the HashMap class. We have been dealing with the get method, which takes a key and returns the value for that key. Now, there could be an issue. Just like in real life, some things happen. What happens when I try to get a key that doesn't exist? If we try to do that, the hash map would return null. Sometimes you might be able to handle the null result. Other times, you might want a default value if the key does not exist. To do that, when you're calling the key, use get or default. So you get a key and then you have a second argument. That means that argument would be returned if that key doesn't exist and doesn't have a value. Because 55 doesn't exist, this would return 1000 and print it out. Had it been the key was 5, the key 5 exists and has a value 90. So it would print that out because it exists. If it didn't, it would just use the default value, which is 1000. We have what we call entry sets, which returns a set of all the key and value mapping of the map. To get the entry set, you call the hash map variable dot the entry set method. We can print out the entry set in the printout statement, but we can do more than that. We can loop through the entry set and get each key and value. I would prefer to use a for each loop. Remember in the for each loop, in the left you have a variable representing each element and in the right you have the collection of elements. Now the collection of elements is the variable entries. Each element is represented by the variable called entry. It is of type map.entry and that is how each type is represented in the entry set. Now we can print out each entry and you can see it prints out the key and the value. Assuming we want to print out only the values, when we are printing out a particular entry, we can call the getValue method. This would print out only the value of that particular entry. So we start from 100 to 23 down to 90. To simplify this code, we can use var for the type of the entry variable so that it's a lot simpler. Var, as you can see, makes the code look simpler and easy on the eyes so you don't have to state the type of the entry variable. We already know it. So let Java do the hard work. So this is how to loop through a hash map. You can call the entry set and loop through the values. You can also loop through the keys by calling key sets.